story in the northwest side of town. A second person has died after a quadruple shooting at a basketball court last night. Police previously said that a 14 year old boy was in critical condition, but this morning we have learned sadly that 14 year old has died. Police responded to a basketball court at Elizabeth Powell Park and found at least a dozen shell casings scattered at that scene with four people suffering from gunshot wounds. One of those people was a 24 year old man. Now that man died there at the scene. Our camera Eppinger, he talked to his grandfather about the type of person that he was. Cam. <clears throat> Katie, good afternoon. 24 year old Titus Mobley was described as an angel, a hardworking man and a family man who loved his two year old daughter. And the family also says they don't wish harm or retaliation on anybody. They just want justice. Ty was a loving, giving, hardworking person. That's kind of a family man. Those are just a few words used to describe Titus Mobley, a 24 year old who was shot and killed last night here at Elizabeth Powell Park. His grandfather, Gregory Mobley, overcome with emotions as he talks about how he broke the news to the victim's two year old daughter. Your dad is asleep. I like, no, we got to tell her the truth. He dead. He gone. It's over with, you know? But Tyler was a loving father. According to police, a fight broke out here Thursday night, and moments later, shots rang out, one of them killing Titus on scene. A 14-year-old boy was critically injured. JSO says he died this morning. Two other victims suffered non-life-threatening injuries. As for Titus's family, their only hope now is for justice. I just hope the law catch him and bring him to justice. That's all I, I just, you know. Now, I did speak with the 14-year-old vic victim's mother. She didn't want to go on camera or identify her son. As you can imagine, she says this is a tough loss, and she just didn't want to share that information just yet. Now, as for this case, it remains under investigation, and the search is still on for the shooter. So if you have any information, police want to hear from you by using Crime Stoppers. For now, reporting live from Northwest Jacksonville, Camera Leppinger, First Coast News on your side.